everybody. Gary from Constricted and Addicted. Today we're going to talk about handling an unpredictable boa constrictor. For me, I have 18 snakes. So um, I'm bound to have a snake that is a little bit different than the rest of them. And for me, that's this guy right here or this girl. Uh, this is Agana. Agana is my uh, Nicaraguan hypo blood. And just because she's uh, Nicaraguan gives her the, uh, the ability to be quite unpredictable. Now, she's uh, stricken at me a couple of times. She's almost got me. She's never landed on me yet, but hopefully for the purpose of this video, this isn't the day that we start. But uh, naturally, she's okay, uh, but I've got to keep my eye on her. So what do I do, right? Like when I have a snake that... Uh, that is that could potentially bite me. Obviously, uh, I like most other boa constrictor keepers. I don't want to be bit, so I have to keep my eye on her. Now, you know, if we have some people may have one or two or three boa constrictors, and you know they're very very accessible. They're very easy. Uh, so you may not get you know the variety as I was told once before that you know eventually you are going to get a snake that is gonna be unpredictable. And, and so is Agana. So I got Agana as uh, basically a full grown or close to a full grown Nicaraguan boa constrictor from somebody off Craigslist, which I'm not a real big fan of buying snakes off Craigslist, but every once in a while you do come across somebody who's got a good snake that's uh, uh, a good deal. And for a blood Nicaraguan Purebred Nicaraguan Hypo, I, I, I really couldn't pass it up. Uh, but what I didn't know is, is that the guy that I bought her from didn't handle her too much. And I found that out the hard way, taking pictures, and I wasn't paying attention, and she tagged my camera. And if my camera hadn't been there, she probably would have got my face. So uh, it's important that, first of all, that I keep my eye on her. And how do I... How do I handle her? I mean, there's, there's people that may have a, a, a snake like this and they may not want to handle it at all. You know, fear may take over and you get to a point where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of being bitten. Well, yeah, I'm afraid of being bitten, but I want to try and, and handle her as well. As you can see, she's kind of calmed down a little bit. She's a little bit apprehensive when we uh, first get her out, but uh, she seems to have... Uh, Calm down just a little bit. But anyways, what I do is I just try to handle her. And uh, the best as I can. You know, she's, I keep an eye on her face. I don't let her, let her head anywhere near my face. And what I do is I just kind of walk her, just kind of like this. Uh, I already know that I have handled this boa constrictor more than the owner has. Um, and I can handle her many, many times without being struck at. But uh, there are times when uh, she, you know, she's just unpredictable. I don't know if it's defensiveness. I don't know if it's aggressiveness. Uh, you know, and I don't know if it's just the nature of the Nicaraguan boa constrictor. Most Nicaraguan boa constrictors, I have two of them. And this is the only one that gives me any sort of problem. And... One of the things that I was also told is kind of like owning snakes is kind of like riding a motorcycle. It's not if you fall off, it's when you fall off. And it's not if you get bit, it's when you get bit. And eventually you are going to get bit when you have a whole bunch of snakes like I do. Um, I just can't let it dictate or rule uh, my handling of the snakes. So what I do is I just really try to handle her as much as possible in the rotation of snakes that I have. And, uh, and like I said, I don't trust her. So I really keep my eye on her. I don't put her around my neck. I don't uh, let her anywhere near my face. Um, I try to keep, I try to close up the strike range. Uh, whenever I see her uh, coil her, her body up in her neck, and that's in this area right here, I make sure that, that she has no access if she decides to take a strike. But, you know, she's an awfully beautiful animal. So I really just do the best I can with her. Um, 
I mean, she doesn't really give you the sense of being a um, aggressive animal or an animal that uh, doesn't want to be handled. Uh, but she definitely has that disposition when she wants to, where she will definitely let you know, hey, don't handle me. Um, sometimes you can handle her like I'm doing right now, and then out of the blue, she just takes a swing at you. Uh, so, I, like I said, you know, I just really try to be careful with her. Um, I, don't, I don't trust her like I trust my other boa constrictors, uh, but that's okay. It keeps me on my toes. And uh, there may become a day, as long as I keep handling her, I don't forget about her. And uh, I just give her respect. The, the, I, I might not keep attention on her like I typically do. Uh, as you can see, from the time I grabbed her to right now, she's really calmed down. So she's uh, definitely, you know, an approachable and handleable snake. Uh, it's just, she's just one of those snakes that, you know, I had her for two days, three days before she took her first swing at me. I contacted the owner prior to her striking at me and I found out later that the, the owner really never, never handled her. So um, I try to handle all my snakes. Uh, and, and all of the snakes that I have gotten have been very, very docile, extremely docile. Uh, I do have a couple of snakes that are what I would call cage defensive. And what that means is, is that they, uh, when I opened up their cage, uh, like my, I have a super dwarf reticulated python that I can't just go in there and grab her. Uh, she, I have to actually uh, rub, rub, it's actually a, a him, rub him with a snake hook and let him know that I'm coming in. And once he gets rubbed with a snake hook, he understands that, hey, I, uh, I'm not feeding. And that's typically what it boils down to is, is that, uh, some of these snakes think that as soon as I open up that tub, they're getting fed. Um, she doesn't have that at all. I can reach right in and grab her. Uh, but as you can see, uh, when I first had her out, she was kind of restless. She was moving around a lot. She was uh, kind of, in, in my mind, trying to get away from me. And now that I have uh, been handling her and, and hopefully I've shown her that I'm not going to hurt her, uh, I'm gonna, you know, trust her. She's really calmed down, and uh, she's uh, she's got a really good disposition right now. But just because she has a good disposition doesn't mean she's going anywhere near my face, or I'm not gonna uh, not gonna pay attention to her. So this is a Ghana. She is quite possibly the only snake I have right now that I'm really leery about. Uh, I do have another Nicaraguan boa constrictor, just a, a normal, beautiful female that uh, very handleable, very different personality from this one. But like I said, you know, I, I own 18 snakes. I own um, 13 boa constrictors. And within all the boa constrictors that I own, I am bound to have one, maybe two, uh, that are... You know not as nice as the other ones they don't play as well as the others do so I have uh, a couple of new snakes coming our way hopefully this week uh, we'll do some unboxing videos the first one is on Wednesday I have a uh, Lange Aquata coming my way later in June I will have my Argentine coming my way so I'm super excited about that uh, and after that I think I'm gonna slow down on the boas I've got uh, that'll give me 15 boa constrictors and at that, I think, you know, for me, maybe that's going to be enough, you know, with the handling. I, I'm a hobbyist, so I don't need to have a hundred snakes. Um, and, and that's another thing I want to put across my channel is, is that, you know, what I do in my channel is, is that I'm not an expert in any of this. Uh, basically, I just want to share my experience with people about, you know, how I handle my snakes. And I get a lot of information from a lot of different uh, people. So... Uh, eventually, like I said, I was going to come across a boa constrictor that uh, isn't going to be as nice as my other ones, and, and that's a Ghana. She's definitely not that, but uh, let me uh, see if I can show her to you guys. She's very beautiful. Uh, I don't want her getting too crazy, but uh, I've always wanted a blood boa. Uh, this is a Vin Russo-produced uh, blood Nicaraguan boa constrictor. So 
You know, I've got a couple of uh, Vin Russo products here uh, in my home. Uh, big fan of Vin Russo's products. And the people that have uh, sold me the Vin Russo snakes. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to see what I can do about giving you a couple more good shots of uh, Agana. And again, she is my female Nicaraguan blood boa constrictor.